My name is Sarah Gamage and I direct the Economic Empowerment and Livelihoods Programme. And we do work on recognising, reducing and redistributing women's unpaid care. This is how we see the world in which women work and this is how we understand the challenges that women face entering and staying in the labour market and being economically empowered. This is the foundation of our theory of change and it informs a lot of the work we do from women's entrepreneurship through to financial inclusion and the way we see the roles that women play both in the household and in the community. And if we don't understand those gender roles, we frequently don't understand the challenges that they may face working and staying in employment, or the challenges that they face caring and ensuring the welfare and well-being of their families. When we're thinking about things like financial inclusion, we think about the key challenges that women may face accessing financial services and products, and what it is about their gender roles that may limit their access to those types of services, or may limit the opportunities they have to diversify their livelihoods. And the same is also true when we're thinking of other types of challenges that women face in the labour market, in terms of inquiring education, the opportunity to earn and to learn is often closely related to the gender roles that they have and the roles that they play in their households. So unless we're thinking about ways to support women in making choices and support their voice and agency, and unless we look at things like the disproportionate burden of unpaid care, we may frequently miss the challenges that women face becoming economically empowered, which is at the centre of how we look at addressing women's needs in the labour market and women's needs as economically empowered individuals.